Are you an avid gamer? Do you like playing video games on the go? Well, what if I told you that instead of buying a portable console from a well-established company with decades worth of experience and resources, you can just make one yourself? It turns out that with a little patience and hard work, you can put together your very own primitive gaming machine. All you need is some basic knowledge of programming, soldering, and of course, ChatGPT. I started this project with the intention of learning about embedded systems and microcontrollers. Rather than sifting through tons of documentation and then promptly forgetting most of it, I decided to dive right into building an actual artifact and picking up things as I go. I was also curious about how it could harness the power of ChatGPT in the context of learning a new technology, and whether it could serve as a viable alternative to scouring Google for problem solutions and syntax tips. The microcontroller that I use for this project is a Raspberry Pi Pico. The Pico is a tiny yet powerful microcontroller board that's perfect for simple electronics projects, learning programming, and building various smart devices. I also needed a few basic parts, like a simple double-sided PCB board, some header pins, a bunch of buttons, and a tiny compact OLED screen. And of course, a bunch of jumper wires. And that's it. That's all we really need to assemble our very own gaming powerhouse. Now comes the fun part. And there you have it, a fully functioning, portable gaming console. Now, in order to have it do anything at all, we need to actually write some software for it. Or do we? See, in our modern day and age of AI innovation, we can approach software engineering in a different way. Introducing ChatGPT, a cutting edge general AI model that is here to do our bidding. All we need to do is prompt ChatGPT to give us the code for any original video game ideas that we can think of, and off it goes. Here comes the age of prompt engineering. Generally speaking, the smaller the task, the better your chances will be of just copy and pasting generated code and having it work from the get-go. Also, being descriptive when prompting ChatGPT definitely helps. It won't always work right away, and maybe you'll need to spend some time iterating over the generated code, and perhaps you'll actually have to resort to taking matters into your own hands and doing a bit of programming the old-fashioned way. Perhaps. 
Hero is prompting ChatGPT to create a simple Pong style video game for our newly assembled console. I started off by giving a general description of what I wanted to generate, and then continuously testing the output code and asking ChatGPT to iterate and add any missing features. And even though it took several tries and some manual tweaking, it took way less time than writing everything from the ground up. Despite its flaws, it's pretty amazing that this type of technology is now available to us. At its current stage, ChatGPT is not really a replacement for software engineering, but it's definitely shaping up to be a powerful tool that many developers can utilize in their daily tasks. And that's pretty much it. Putting this thing together was a relatively fast process even for a soldering beginner such as myself. And with a little help from our future AI overlords, I was even able to build three classic video game clones all in the span of a single evening. The code for all of them can be found on my GitHub page. It's also worth mentioning that all the parts used for this build are relatively inexpensive and can be repurposed for many other projects in the future. You can find the complete list of these parts in the description below. Oh, and feel free to leave a comment of what other projects you'd like to see me attempt in a future video. Since this is my first upload, any feedback would be greatly appreciated. Until next time, good luck and take care.